white people in the United States? So my first experience is uh, in the like first year seminar class. Uh, it was like one of the like, first conversations I had. It was with a white dude. He just like, he said, do you ride camels? Yeah. And he, so he, you're, and he, and he looked like really, really like, he was asking like, really? Like, do you, re do you ride camels? So he wasn't even joking. He wasn't sarcastic, you know? <laughs> So what you discovered about white people, at least this guy, is he's really interested in camels. All right. So what, what else? Okay. So, but what else? Like, what's just your general when you go out in public? It's like, what's your experience of white people? Okay. One time I was in Beaver Stadium. Okay. Yeah. I was waiting for my friends. And this guy comes. Okay. He was offering me a beer. I, I said, like, oh, I'm a minor. I didn't want to say I'm a Muslim. I just said, like, oh, I'm a minor. I, I can't drink. I look young. So I was like, I'm a minor. And he was like, uh, oh, yeah, where are you from? And I was like, uh, give a guess. And he was like, oh, India? I was like, no. I was like, okay, okay, what about, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm from the Middle East. And he was like, oh, yeah, I've been to the Middle East. I've killed some, like, Middle Easterns and stuff like that. And he was like, he was a little drunk. I wouldn't say, but it was really, really, like, bad. Like, he, he wasn't, like... I would say he was conscious, okay? He said, I, I killed some Iraqis and stuff like that. It wasn't like really a good conversation. But, uh, and then he started like talking about the FBI and stuff like that. I was like, oh, are you okay, man? Uh, so you're asking him if he's okay. So the main question was, so what's your general experience with white people? And the reason I paused is because I want to bring up something very important. When he was talking about white people, he never mentioned his general experience with white people. He immediately started listing some of the worst experiences he's had with white people when asked the question, what is your general experience with white people? The reason that this is alarming is because imagine if somebody asked you if you're not black, what's your what's your general experience with black people? At least and if I said Saudi, he would I don't know what he would do. I didn't say that. I was I was scared of my life, of course, because <laughs> If I said anything, if I, I didn't, I just said Middle East, and if I said Saudi, he would. I don't know what he'd do. Okay, okay, okay. You have you gave me two experiences. As and I've been to Penn State's campus, man. If you, it's white kids on Penn State campus, but not many, man. I was well, no. There's a lot of white kids. Let me let me scrap that. There's a lot of white kids, but there's a lot of fucking POCs, and I'm not talking about blacks. I'm talking about these Middle Easterners, the Tells, Sandmen. It's a lot of them. Tigers. It's all over Penn State campus. And nobody's chasing them around with pitchforks and tiki, tiki torches. And says, what about, dude, you've been here two years there's a whole bunch of white people that you're interacting with. What is your average interaction with white people? Okay, okay, let's let's talk about the average. Uh, like. Either the white person saying, excuse me, sorry, holding the door open for you, making small talk or ignoring you. That's my average interaction with white people. Press one. Okay, so most probably here, people are like educated in the university. Yeah. So I think... Uh, Except the guy that asked you about yeah yeah that guy that guy it's crazy okay so most like most probably especially like in the engineering petroleum engineering a lot of professors are like they have a good idea about Saudi and like Muslim people because yeah, yeah, yeah. there's like a, a lot of Saudis in, in the petroleum classes so I didn't I don't feel like from day to day like okay. I How about your other classes? You like? I want to go back to what what he said. He said like he meets people. People seem really nice. Are white people nice? On average, yeah, yeah, on average, yes, yes, they're they're kind, uh, especially here in State College. But I want to say, like, <laughs> thank you, thank you, finally, man. White people are very nice, man, very nice, and the majority of black people you meet outside of like contentious situations are very nice, or they just ignore you and they don't fucking bother you. But the white people are the nicest people, by far, on the planet. Hey, I went with my family to Philadelphia, and we arrived at night. It was really, really scary. 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, like, that would be kind of scary. I don't want to offend anyone from here from Philly. I, I, I guess like there's a lot here from Philly, but downtown Philly is really scary. Dude, <laughs> Tay knows, man. She's from Philly, and that's why she's here. She's like, shit. All right, okay. All right, okay. So in other words, white people are okay. It's black people. Uh, they're scary. White what? people are all right, though. No, I didn't say that. Yeah, you did say that. If you're talking about downtown Philly, Jack, it's not white people making you feel scared down in downtown Philly. Shout out to Eric S. Operation Hall of Fame for coming through once again. See how white people got to be perfect, man? White people got to be fucking perfect. And even then, it's not enough. I thought he just said that. Didn't he just say that? I said oh, no, Philly. You said Philly. Okay, I said, you Philly. said Philly. All right. In fairness, you did say Philly. All right. I guess I guess no, I'm the wasn't, racist. It wasn't. No, no, no. It wasn't like black people. I. No, no, no. You're, I, you're putting words in my mouth. I know I am, dude. I mean, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah. talking he's generally. Good. No, no. He's all good. Yeah, yeah. You're good, bro. Um, when you did I have I said anything that like pops out for you? Has has did he say anything that kind of comes out of like your what's what's your general experience of white people as a as a you know someone who's east asian korean your Mind general you. experience not he repeated general general experience let's see what happens not like you know we're we're going to talk about specific experiences when i introduce myself i'm from, i'm from korea then the follow-up question usually comes up, are you from North or South? So, like, I'm sure someone has asked a question. Well, God damn it, man. If that's all you got against them, man. <laughs> if that's all you got against them. You see how fucking perfect you gliders got to be? Like, you can't even ask a person, hey, where you from? I'm from Korea. North or South? Oh, my God. You said North or South. It's like, shit, man. Shit is... This is everybody's like, this isn't just black people. This is like a world thing, man. Now, just the bully gliders. When I introduce myself, I'm from, I'm from Korea. Then the follow up question usually comes up Are you from North or South? So, like, I'm sure someone has asked a question. It's not, it's somehow it's not really an offensive question, but I think it's a bit ignorant question. Like, have you been on the news? Like, would I be in the u.s if i were from well okay it is okay it is kind of an ignorant question because if you know you can't really leave north korea but is that an offensive but if it but but there are north koreans in america yeah there are north korean defectors in america yeah i've seen them they're on youtube say telling how telling you how america how uh messed up they are by giving in to communism yeah Exactly. But it's like, God damn, the bar, like, gliders, it's like, yo, you, I see why gliders are neurotic like that, man. Like, they, everybody's, like, on your heels, man, just nipping at your heels. The chances are highly unlikely that I'm talking to you one-on-one. Okay, and then, and then just what else, though? What's your average perception of white people? So most... Of my friends that I met from Penn State are white. They're usually in sororities. Um, are they nice? Are they? Yeah, they're nice. They're my friends. So, but when I'm on FaceTime, when I'm back in Korea and I'm like on FaceTime with them, they always ask, like, is there Starbucks in Korea? Like, they always ask, like, like stuff like that. Stuff. Uh, because they're curious. They don't know what it's like there. They want to know what other cultures are like. Hey, I, it's, it's not enough racism to go around, man. It's just, it's just, man, when I tell you the fucking real racist people looking at this fucking generation, like, just rolling in a grave, man. White man, the old racist white man is rolling in a grave with the amount of racism that these fucking gliders are giving. Just, just give, look, at this point, I'm begging for more racism. Right, give what they want. Just give, just give us more racism. Come on, man. 
see, we're we're too curious. We want to know what it's like there. We want to know what what your culture is like. We want to know all that. But apparently, yeah, yeah, yeah. asking but about the culture is racist. Throw some N words in there or something, man. We need some more racism, man. This shit is bland, man. We begging for it, and y'all just not giving it to us. Y'all over here give y'all donate to motherfucking cash out for looting and all type of shit. We need more racism. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, these people are insufferable, man. They they hold, and then if a if a black person punched her in her fucking face for no reason and just kept so, walking, feel, we feel sorry for him. <laughs> yeah, I hope he gets some help. This is the 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 the, the, the city failed him. While my jaw Thing, hurts uh, like right them. now, while my while my yeah, jaw hurts people. now, he has been hurting for three hundred years. <laughs> right, these people are crazy. Always ask like like stuff like that stuff thing uh, like them thinking that cr- some other country other than the U.S. is underdeveloped or like what un like not westernized enough. Mm-hmm. Um, what? Okay, so one of your experiences of people is that unique to white? Is that all people? That's that can't be just white people because like um, black and brown people are pretty not very aware either. Could be, but um, unfortunately, my friend group is not that diverse. Okay, so I can't really say that. Um, not intentionally, but yeah, I'm black. But I- so she only hangs around white people. Walking in other words, in other words, you're racist against black people because you don't want to be around them. You want to be around white people because you know they're safe. But if a white person asks you if you're from North and South Korea, then you fucking melt down. If they ask you if there's a Starbucks in Korea, then you feel like offended. Come Is around it- black people. We'll give you something to be offended. Yeah, by. yeah, we're a motherfucker. We definitely get you some. It's just not enough, man. But go ahead. Like being in Madison, like I grew up in Madison, Wisconsin, which is predominantly white. And I went to okay. like private school, which was 99% white. And I was the one girl who was bringing the diversity to the whole school. So, um, and okay. And there, your experience of white people is? Is that, I mean, they were curious about me. They wanted to get to know me because mm-hmm. everyone had their families and I, was living alone, like I was okay. living with my host family. So they always like try to inv- like try to invite me to Thanksgiving, Christmas. So yeah, hey, people are friendly hey, and uh, nice. Uh, but I don't think it was because they were white. We suck at racism. Did you hear? Did you hear? I, what she, she was living with her host family. Yeah, white people. <laughs> Some white people that fucking took her ass in, took her so, goddamn. Some more, some more white people that fucking paid for every meal. Yeah, took her in, man. She to be a- fair, there are exchange students programs. My parents participated in that. We had a uh, German and a uh, and a uh, Sweden. And you know what you never me. seen when you grew up in uh, Blackistan? A host family. A, 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 a host family. <laughs> Exchange to that's, I that's, ain't that's, never that's, seen yeah. no shit like that in my motherfucking life. That's so true. That's so true. Black folk, um, yeah, that's so true. Being alone, like I was okay. living with my host family, so they always like try to inv- like try to invite me to Thanksgiving, Christmas. So yeah, people are friendly and nice, mm-hmm. but I don't think it was because they were white people. I yeah, think it was because they're, they're people. They're more mm, oh, yeah, but okay. It's, okay, yep. And I think, but on average, Americans are pretty friendly. But yeah. nonetheless, the lots of people around the world are very friendly. But yeah. Americans are at the upper, more friendly kind of area. Us group, yeah. Okay, but you'd say. At the same time, though, you don't really see a. I'm here, people. There's not like really a great difference. It's Americans. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Brooke, how how do people in Nigeria before you came here? How when you think about coming here and being with white people and like black Americans, like how do people distinguish? Do they, do people like to what degree do people see black Americans as just white white American? You know. Like, they don't make a distinction. Okay. Uh, 
So first off, for black Americans, most of us, especially in the middle class, Nigerian home, we grew up watching CNN, uh, BBC, Sky, like mostly, mostly Western media. Mm -hmm. So every time we see images of our country, our people is often bad. But a few times we see images of black people is of black Americans. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, entertainment, you know, popular actors, athletes. So black Americans kind of like form like a positive image of black people. Like that was like the only positive image of black people we saw in the media. Mm -hmm. And oh, you mean p p people who are in entertainment and yeah, performance yeah. arts. OK, OK. What? Because otherwise you see negative images. Yeah, mostly when, every time we saw about African hope is mostly, oh, donates to. Yeah, donate, yeah. Kids running around with bellies looking like pot bellies and shit and fucking trash every fucking way and goddamn fucking UNICEF kids and shit and goddamn save the children, yeah. That's and how it is. They're not watching the local news either, Rock. Yeah, they, well, they don't really have their local shit. They, they, they have rolling blackouts, so you really can't really catch this shit. To this, or some kid on on the news that's yeah. malnourished. But I do want to point out about the, uh, you said something about racism. Yeah. So for Nigerians especially, from my class, from lower class to middle class, from where I am. He's beating around the bush. Like, I feel like he wants to say something bad, but he hasn't said it yet. And I know I'm probably reaching, but you got to think. We're both watching this video together, and I did not pause it on purpose. He's been talking for about a minute and a half, and he hasn't really said anything yet. Uh, for racism, we didn't only, like, think white people. Because mm -hmm. we have a lot of, we've had a lot of experiences. We've had racism from Arabs. We've had racism from... Dude, wait, hang on one second. Yo, yo, can you stop talking? Really? Thanks, man. Oh, he's, now he's talking about your people, bro. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him throw you under the bus. All right, go ahead. Tell so, us about the Arab, the racist Arabs. So, we've, so we have a lot of Arabs in the country, and we also have a lot of Indians and uh -huh. lots of... Uh, Chinese people too, mm -hmm. and our experiences with them a lot, most times are very racist, like they think we're inferior to them. Mm -hmm. that, so when we think about racism in general, it wasn't just white people. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was basically almost everybody against us. Okay. So when I came to the US and I heard of uh, POC as a term. People of color. People of color, that's like, is like a united kind of alliance between every minority is kind of like a shock because people of color. To his defense, I don't really understand the term POC either because it is kind of like grouping every person who is not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. So this is like, so then this is really interesting, right? You're seeing like how, like here in the United States, if you're an American in particular, we, we have this sense of like that our, this vision of the way we categorize racial groups and so on, like it just defines everything about life, but it doesn't define thing about, it doesn't define most of the world. It's a very unique perception or a way of seeing things here. So do people, so when you think about black Amer, you know, so here you have African Americans, right? You know, African American, do you, to, we can come back to this and have another class on it. It would be really interesting to have a conversation between Africans and African Americans. But like, because I, I, because my, what, how distinctly. God damn, glad to spit it out. We're not going to, I mean, I, this guy might not accuse you of racism, but yeah, it's a lot of black people in there. So he does have he, to be careful. Somebody may accuse him of being racist. Yeah, he's dancing around he's his words. People. Yeah. People on average see African Americans like how distinct are they from white Americans? Let me just stick with black and white. So, first off, we know we're different from African Americans. Okay. And then, obviously, white Americans are different from African Americans. And 
I would be lying to say we haven't seen stereotypes of African Americans, especially in our media. Mm -hmm. And is a lot of times, sometimes they're portrayed as good, like popular actors and the likes, and sometimes they're portrayed as like really bad, like uh, robberies, murders, a lot. Mm -hmm. So the, those ain't stereotypes, brother. <laughs> That's not a stereotype. That's literally actually facts. How it is. One That's not a stereotype. Times. That's the type. Yeah, exactly. That's one hundred thousand percent true. Oh, I think from my from my limited view of uh -huh. African Americans before coming to the U.S., that was probably it. It was like the good side. They are big. Uh, they represent black people in a good image sometimes. Yeah, and sometimes they represent black people in a bad image. Okay, so so, so let me ask this. This will be my last question to you. So like. Is there a converse to what degree wh wh where's the conversation about black Americans that's like who want to really identify with Africa, but they're Americans? It's like to like, dude, you're an African and like you, you're an American. Like, what's this stuff about African American? Like, whatever. Is that a conversation among a lot of Nigerians? I will say, uh, we we do like encourage a lot of like back home a lot of African Americans to come visit or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. see the culture and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, but to say that we're like the same people is kind of like bizarre. Now, yes, we know that from history they did descend from West Africa's prim primarily Nigeria and Ghana. We we know of this. Yes, but like we feel like they've made a history for themselves and a culture uh -huh. for themselves that uh -huh. we are now distinct groups. Got you. Yeah. Got you. So you're Yeah, that, that that's true. Everything's true. That brother was actually the only sane person on that film. Um the only person that wasn't fucking super annoyed. Um <laughs> 